The Tata Sia Association is hosting Guam's first ever Miss Guahan 2011 beauty pageant, an alternative pageant geared towards participation from 11 transgendered male individuals vying for the title. Let's take a look at the lovely contestants. Meet contestant number one, Miss Kadinan Umagwaiza. Contestant number two is Miss Flores Christmas. Also running is contestant number three, Miss Asusena. Contestant number four is Miss Sibozas Halumtanu. Contestant number five, Miss Gadinia. Me contestant number six, Miss Flores Rosa. Contestant number seven is Miss Adetpa. Contestant number eight, Miss Kalachucha. Me contestant number nine, Miss Puti Tainubu. Here's contestant number ten, Miss Kamiya. And finally, here's contestant number 11, Miss Dama Di Noche. Joining us now in studio to talk about the upcoming Miss Guahan 2011 beauty pageant is event coordinator, Charissa Uggen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, you know, the pageant is for a worthy cause, so let's just start there and where the proceeds are going. Okay, well, the pageant is going to help to fund um, the 2012 delegation of the liter um, literary arts delegation um, to the Festival of the Pacific Arts in the Solomon Islands. Okay, and does the winner go to the festival also? Yes, the winner of the pageant will be part of the delegation. Mm -hmm. Now, for people who aren't familiar with the festival, uh, tell us about that and why it is important. Oh well, this festival is kind of considered um, the the Olympics of the Pacific. Um, the mission of the festival was and is still to promote traditional artistry in the Pacific Islands and to perpetuate that, um, not only um, the traditions, but also, I guess, a sense of unity am amongst Pacific Islanders. Yeah, and have you been to one of the festivals before? I've had the honor, yes. I was able to go to um, the festival in 2008, which was held in American Samoa mm -hmm. as part of the Literary Arts Delegation. And how many, uh, I guess, countries go to this and attend? I believe that um, there's 27 countries. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of people and a lot of um, just diversity. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just it's, it's mind-blowing. I don't even know how to explain it. Well, mm -hmm. let's talk about your organization. Okay. Um, Ginani Hila is um, a storytelling organization. The mission of Gideon Hila is to also um, perpetuate storytelling, which is a part of our heritage, you know, as Chamorros, but also as Pacific Islanders. And um, it's, um, there's a diverse array of artists. We have musicians, we have writers, we have lesbians, and um, they're all storytellers in their own ways, and um, also people who want to promote and per perpetuate the language. Mm -hmm. And so that's the basic mission of, of our organization. How long have you been with the group and, and how did you join? <clears throat> I've been with the group since 2008. Um, it was, um, I was a student at the University of Guam and Peter Onodera, who is the founder of the organization, was one of my instructors and that's how I heard about the group. Um, I'm somebody who um, loves to write short stories and poetry and is also interested in learning my language. Mm -hmm. And so, um, that was main, the main cause of why I decided to join the group. Um, but also, um, as a student, we had a student film that we wanted to bring to um, the film festival that was being held there at the time. Mm -hmm. And so that was you know, another reason why I joined. And yeah. I've been with them since, so it's been great. Well, let's go back to the pageant. Okay. Where did this idea come from to hold a transgender pageant? Well, it was an idea that came um, at a meeting amongst members. Mm -hmm. um, we have members who are part of the transgender community, or the, um, and um, I guess you know, for many Pacific Islanders, you know, many of our transgender brothers, mm -hmm. you know, and sisters, um, just mm -hmm. kind of have this knack for storytelling, and so it's something that we wanted to um, to promote. Um, and we thought that um, it would go great with um, the mission of our group, which you know, we, you know, we are storytellers. And um, we wanted to merge this, this kind of um, this perpetuation of self-identity with the perpetuation of cultural ident identity. And so that was how it came about. And um, you know, so we decided to put on a pageant. 
Well, you know, this isn't uh, the, the first time a transgender pageant has been held on Guam. There's mm -hmm. been Miss Pacificana, there's been mm -hmm. the Queen of Queens. Right. Uh, what makes this one, though, different? What I think what makes this one different is that, um, like I was saying earlier, um, it's not only a pageant to promote self-identity as a transgender individual, um, but it's also a pageant that um, promotes cultural identity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a pride and a, and a love for the people that you come from as well as yourself. And so um, the main focus of the pageant is um, that each contestant um, is going to represent their idea of what it is to be tomorrow, what it is to be a Pacific Islander, and their pride, you know, you know, in that. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's what makes this pageant different. Yeah. Now let's talk about the different categories of the competition. OK, well, we have um, several categories. There's going to be a parade of flowers because each um, contestant, um, as you saw in the, um, in the, um, I'm sorry, the, the preview names, of right, the names yeah. that she gave, mm -hmm. um, represents a flower. So there's going to be a parade of flowers, and then um, we have a talent competition. We also have um, a native costume competition and an evening gown competition, and so they will compete in these in those different categories, and um, we will have winners. Um, in best in flower, best in native comp um, costume, but also Miss Congeniality, Miss Photogenic, um, and then you know Miss Guahan. Mm -hmm. now, you, how long is the show um, expected to be? The pageant. It's the, um, the pageant will start at seven, from seven to ten. Okay. Now, um, have you had a chance to talk to any of the contestants? How excited are they about this? Um, they're very excited. I've had the chance to talk to a few. Mm -hmm. um, they've been very busy, you know, so it's been hard to kind of get them alone and talk to each of them. But um, they're very excited about this particular pageant. Um, one in particular mentioned that um, the reason they are joined this pageant is because they thought it was such a great idea to merge um, this, I, you know, idea of pride and love for who you are as a person and also as who you are, you know, a love for your culture. And um, their mission really was not just to join a pageant, you know, for the beauty of the pageant, mm -hmm. but um, they wanted to also raise awareness um, about the transgender community and um, to reach out to those within their community who might still be struggling with I their identity. Mm -hmm. And so they thought that, you know, by putting themselves out there that they could encourage those people that still have that kind of struggle, you know, to, to find love for who they are, but also for who and, you know, where they come from. All right, and, and real quickly, let's talk about uh, tickets. Where do you get them, the time, the date, where? Uh, okay, the, um, the tickets, are, tickets are being sold at Kaha Couture Boutique and the Sinehanian Mayor's Office, and um, they are $10 for general seating, $25 for VIP. So where's the pageant? The and the pageant will be held, I'm sorry, at the University of, um, of Guam Field House. Okay. Yes. And, and uh, what time? What day? From 7 to 10 on October 6th. Okay. Think, any final comments? Um, I just wanted to thank the, the beauties who are taking a part in this first ever pageant. Um, we're very excited and, and nervous, you know, about it. Um, and also the numerous volunteers who are out there working hard, you know, to assist us in putting it together. Well, good luck to you. I definitely know how hard it is to put together a production oh. like this. So best of luck to you. Okay, thank you.